G'day everyone, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different for our channel. We're going to be having a close look at a freshwater turtle setup. What makes this setup extra special is it has been designed specifically for kids. Let's check it out. So this is it. We have a pair of Brisbane River Turtles in this tank. And you can see that it's a shallow tank. It's four feet long by a little bit more than two feet wide. And it's designed especially for kids. We're gonna have a bit of a look at the turtles. We'll have a look at the setup and we'll show you what has been done to make this tank perfect for the kids of this house. So Brisbane River Turtles get to a length of around about one foot with their shell. So these guys are probably about two thirds fully grown. They are going to get bigger. And you can see that the tank has been designed to give them the maximum amount of swimming space. The extra width of this tank really gives them that extra space that they can swim around. And we also have this area that they can get up onto the land so that they can bask under the light if they choose to. So the, these guys, we've got a male and a female. They get along really well. We feed them a variety of foods, dry pellets, frozen turtle dinner, and they also have some uh, feeder fish in there that they don't really seem too interested in. So let's have a little bit of, look, of a look at the setup and how we've designed it. Probably the most striking feature of this setup is the fact that it is very, very low. And we'll look at the complications of that with the filtration in a minute. But the reason why the tank is so low is so that the kids can really interact with the turtles. We have these little step ladders here. They're able to stand up, look at the turtles and really interact as well as hand feed the turtles. Now these guys can be quite voracious feeders. We're not gonna uh, put any food in at the moment, but uh, having the low height really makes it a more interesting setup specifically for the kids. So let's have a look at the lighting and the filtration. The lighting required for turtles is a very specific type of UV. And so it's important that we have light tubes which are specifically for turtles. And what we've done in this case is we've actually propped the lights up with this pelmet and it's suspended with this piece of, uh, these pieces of timber that come up from the stand and allow us to have our lights mounted a significant distance from the water surface. And again, that means that we're able to have really good access to the turtles. We don't have to take off any lid, we don't have to lift up lights, and that makes it uh, a much more interactive tank for the kids. But the lights that we use on here are replaced every 12 months and it's really important that we keep them up to date for the health of the turtles. Let's have a look at the filtration. As you can see, we have this land area for the turtles to get up and out of the water. And the way it's been created is with these flat pieces of stone, which hold the gravel in creating the land section. Now, the filtration, you can see that the outlet is coming out here, creating this little waterfall. Now that's oxygenating the water for the turtles as well as the fish but the intake is hidden underneath the flat pieces of rock. Now, we do have to occasionally clean that out. Uh, turtles do shed their shell, and so pieces of their shell will come off, and we just have to clear those away from the intake for the filter, but it works really well. But the trick with this whole setup is exactly where the filtration is, because there isn't space under the tank. So let's have a look at exactly where the filter is. So two meters to the right of the tank, we have this cupboard. And in the basement of the cupboard, we have this Flugel 406. Now, Flugel 406s are not normally meant to lay on their side, but we have it like this because we don't actually have the space above to have it vertical. And it does work out quite well. When we uh, prime the filter, this Flugel, we do actually have to have it quite low. It, it's the most challenging part about this setup but it works really well and it's a much better option than 
uh, what we would otherwise use, which is an internal power filter, because this way we can have the filtration entirely hidden away from the tank, and it means that we're able to create that cool little waterfall going into the tank. So it is a challenge, but it is an excellent option for filtration for this setup. Freshwater turtles really make great pets for kids. They're so easy to look after. They don't require heaps of attention. They're very fun to feed and interactive sort of pets. They also make a beautiful display in your home. And so this setup is one that uh, is really well designed for kids specifically. But in the future, we'll look at other turtle setups and show you other ways that you can incorporate these sort of setups into your home. So thanks so much for checking out this setup. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy turtling. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!